What if we could terraform Mars? Not just visit it in bulky suits or live in domes underground, but actually transform the red planet into a place where humans could live freely, breathe the air, and grow food in open fields. First, the basics. Mars is cold. The average surface temperature is around minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit with wild swings between day and night. Its atmosphere is incredibly thin, just about 1% the pressure of Earth's, and made almost entirely of carbon dioxide. That means liquid water can't exist on the surface for long, and humans can't breathe without full life support. So how would we change that? One idea is to trigger a runaway greenhouse effect by releasing massive amounts of CO2 into the Martian atmosphere. We could trap solar heat and gradually raise the temperature. Some scientists have proposed building vast networks of greenhouse gas factories or deploying orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight onto the poles and sublimate the frozen CO2 stored there. Others have even floated the idea of detonating nuclear explosions near the ice caps to rapidly release gas and kickstart warming. As the temperature rises, ice would melt, releasing both carbon dioxide and water vapour, both powerful greenhouse gases. That would amplify the warming effect and potentially create shallow lakes or even seas in low-lying areas. Over time, the atmosphere would thicken, possibly reaching a point where pressure and temperature are high enough to allow unprotected exposure, at least for brief periods. At that point, it might be possible to introduce extremophile plants or engineered microbes to begin converting CO2 into oxygen. That part would take centuries or more. But in theory, you could eventually build an oxygen-rich atmosphere that supports complex life. But there are massive complications. For one, Mars has no global magnetic field, and that's not just a footnote. Earth's magnetic field protects our atmosphere from being stripped away by solar wind. Mars lost its magnetic shield billions of years ago, and that's why it lost its air. Even if we succeed in thickening the atmosphere, it could slowly erode again unless we find a way to protect it. And we don't currently know how to do that on a planetary scale. There's also the question of Martian life. If microbes already exist there, underground or frozen in briny water, terraforming could destroy them before we ever detect or understand them. And if we believe life is rare in the universe, that would be a loss of significant scientific and philosophical importance. Then there's time. Terraforming wouldn't take years or decades. It would likely take centuries, maybe thousands of years, with technology we haven't invented yet for a goal that requires political and economic stability far beyond what we've ever sustained on Earth. So what if we could terraform Mars? It's an incredible idea, and maybe one day a necessary one. But it raises deep questions about what we value, life, time, risk, and responsibility. Because making Mars more like Earth might force us to finally decide what kind of Earth we actually want to create.